Hey there everyone, Hatesh here and let's move forward in our journey to learn Flutter. Now when you want to learn Flutter and in case you are skipping the Dart section, this is a mistake which is unforgivable. The, mo the reason behind all of this is Dart, Dart is being used quite a lot in Flutter. In fact, this is, this is the entire thing which runs the, runs the Flutter. So when you want to make any app for Android and iOS, you are using Flutter. Dart is the first thing that you should master. Now, we will not be going like in too much depth of this Dart because we need just the basics of it, just like how the variables are working in this loops, function, the main vocabulary and the syntax of the programming language, as well as some of the things like functions, classes and object. Now, if you're coming up from any other programming language, this is going to be a fast go to guide in the upcoming few videos. And very soon, once we learn the few basics, we'll be moving into the flutter. Once we'll be creating few more apps, then as soon as we get a need of learning more of the Dart, we'll be switching back onto the Dart. So we'll be switching back and forth onto this website quite a lot, which is dartpad.dartlang.org. So here is our basic code, which you'll be seeing as soon as you open up the Dart. What you need to do is just select all of this and hit the delete button. Now, the reason why we are doing it, because we want to understand this flutter quite a lot, this Dart thing quite a lot, and we will be uh, switching on to the console here. Now we'll be writing a very basic code. Yes, it would be hello world, but it's gonna be a little bit more than that. And we will try to understand the syntax of this from this. So first and foremost, we are gonna write the keyword void and make sure you type along with me. And then we're gonna be using a main with a pair of parentheses along with the curly braces. So this is the basic, the most amazing basic thing that you can write in the Dart. Now Dart is very much a C and C++ style of a language and it needs some main method here. We'll talk about the methods in a bit, but all these things which are with these curly braces are not the curly braces, these parentheses are uh, functions. And this is the first entry point. There can be hundreds of function in a programming language. And this main function is as reserved keyword. And it shows that this is the main entry point of your program. And this program is going to call rest of the functions and stuff. So we're going to do something here. So we're going to say var score kind of a hello world, but this is what we're going to do. And in the codes, we are going to say, let's just say 100 PTS. Now, yes, this is exactly what we are doing. So we are just declaring a variable score here, which is having some value here. Now, surely we can do this and can print hello world and all of this, but let me just walk you through a little bit more kind of advanced thing of that. So we'll be deleting this. Yes, again, follow me along. We are gonna delete this for a moment. We will jump outside these curly braces in the main and we are going to write something like this, which is a string. And then we'll be typing, let's just say hi score. Again, put a pair of parentheses and we're going to go like this. And then we are going to just use a return keyword and we are going to return something like uh, 300 points. Okay, make sure you put a, a semicolon after this. This is required in Dart. Now we're going to jump back onto our main and we are going to do something. We're going to say var, we're going to say score. And then I'm going to inside this variable score. Don't worry, I'll walk you through each and every bit of this particular code just write along with me. And then I'm going to say it like, hi, score, put a pair of parentheses. Don't forget to put a semicolon as well. And then we are going to use a print statement there. And in the print statement, we're going to say, uh, my high score is, and then put a dollar sign and then write a score here. Don't forget to put the semicolon. Now, it's not really a very magical code. We're gonna just hit the run here and it's going to just print it. It's going to print the value 300 points. It's a little bit more than just a hello world. So let's just explore what just happened right now. Now in this Dart, and in fact, while coding in the Flutter, we'll be creating variety of methods, also known as functions. Now, whenever you see any variable being declared like this, and just after that, there is something like pair of parentheses, it means it's a function, it's a method, and they are just almost the same. Yes, I know there are subtle differences between them. Uh, like, I will not be going them right now. It would be like too much detail at, at the very first video of the Dart. So as I told you, the main function is compulsory and you always, always need a main method in order Dart to just proceed further. And then what we are doing, we have defined a method here. It's very simple. We have first declared a data type here, which is string. Yes, there are others as well, like integers, um, a lot of things, we will be discussing them later on. And then we have defined a method here. 
it says just return me at 300 points it can be a very complex calculation as well uh, but what we have done is we have defined just 300 points here or basically you can return a hello world there as well and then in the main so you will be declaring a lot of such things while coding in the flutter as well like calculation of high score what to do when a button is being pressed what to do when a, a user submits a login form so there will be a lot of such things in there so your main entire job will be to declaring such types of things and of course there will be a main method here as well which is going to have main and then pair of parentheses and inside that you will be calling these methods that you have defined outside for example high score so whenever you see a high score you are just calling it right there this is the declaration of this and this is where you call them okay and now we have a variable here var score so this variable can store a simple value like just a hello world or it can store a entire uh, output from a function which is in our case it's a uh, high score and then we do have a print my high score and this is how I uh, show up a variable in my print method okay so this is up here now I know a lot of people might be thinking hey I was expecting just a plain hello world but no I think that this flutter series expects you to have a bit of programming understanding in case you haven't go ahead watch my free javascript course and in that we have talked a lot about in basics so i'm just kind of a fast forwarding a little bit here so this is our very first program and i'm going to put a challenge in front of you as well now what i want you to do is i want you to define one more method that says hello world and it should return a string hello world and then in the main method apart from this just leave this code as it is and also make sure that there is another variable that says greetings and that greeting should be printed out in this in here in the next line it should say greetings colon and then hello world so in this series i'm not going to be writing a hello world code you are going to write this for me so i hope you have understood it i totally expect that you haven't understood like 100 percent of it surely we'll be talking more about this in the next video but don't forget to post your assignment in the discussion section i will be keeping an eye and you can also link a screenshot there as well if in case you wish to or you can just copy and paste your code so don't forget to do the assignment and i'll surely catch you up in the next video